Well, so time's running out. We need some more questions before we, uh, we finish. Um, where's the mic? Uh, there we go. Well, that gentleman there. And then we'll do over there. Um, in, um... Hello? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in, um, in Big Finish, uh, you did um, Isaac Newton in Circular Time uh, with, David, with Peter Davison and Sarah Sutton. Um, how did you find, do, I mean, how did you, did you enjoy doing that, uh, playing Sir Isaac Newton? Well, well, I mean, I, anything to do with Big Finish, that specific thing or just Big Finish generally, which I do quite a lot of work for? Well, yeah, well, Big Finish in general, yeah. Oh, yeah, fantastic. I mean, I'm here because of Big Finish. I'm sitting here because of Big Finish. I, I, they know that, and I've done I, 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 Sapphire and Steel, uh, you know, a series of those, and um, Bernice, two, I played Doctor Who twice on the audios, with, and, and in one of those, and I can't remember with David, which one is it? Um, David Tennant, before he was Doctor Who, was in one of the two, where I played Doctor Who. for the devil. And I could, you know, David Tennant was in, and uh, David Tennant was a friend of mine, Mark Gatiss, David Tennant introduced me to Mark Gatiss, so I've known David for many years, way before the big stuff started to happen. And he's an actor who's played Shakespeare. Before the ha famous Hamlet, he'd been at Stratford-on-Avon, played Romeo, and, does, and so he has credentials. But I, when I was playing Doctor Who, when I, when I, <laughs> across the studio was this young actor called David Tennant, looking at every move I made. I could see him taking mental notes. <laughs> now, of course, he had no clue that one day he would audition and finally get the part of Doctor Who. But I knew, when I saw him performing the Doctor, how much he had stolen from me. <laughs> now, folks, this is the first time I've ever said this in public. But my, I try to hold my resentment in. <laughs> I really, no, seriously, I, yeah, I, I really, really, uh, I, will, I really, I'm here because of Big Finish, not to, I, I, and I really, uh, the wonderful thing, of course, is you don't have to shave. You, know, <laughs> you can wear whatever you want, yeah. you come in, yeah. and uh, you know, I really, really love what, doing it, and I, I will always work with Big Finish, because if that's a, a wonderful, you talk about having a pleasant, pleasant uh, professional experiences. Uh, certainly working with Big Finish is very, well, it's a kind of family, isn't it? It, it really is, it's fantastic. Um, we had, uh, yep, on you go. Four minutes. Uh, Dogs was banned in the UK for many years. You have a lot of respect for Peckinpah. Would you care to comment on the controversy that surrounded Straw Dogs? Now, all I knew was that Straw Dogs was, as you say, banned. And it's very interesting because at that time, Clockwork Orange was out. Clockwork Orange wasn't banned. Uh, uh, Straw Dogs was a violent picture, you know, some people attack a farmhouse with Dustin Hoffman and myself inside it and all sorts of mayhem, that, and Eddie got banned for its violence. Clockwork Orange comes out and is a great liberal cultural success. With dear Malcolm again, you know, a, a, a bowler hat on and makeup and beating people up in the streets. Well, of course, what happened was people saw young people, the wrong people, people you know, with problems, saw it dressed up like Alex, Uncle McDowell, and started beating up old ladies in the street. But that film was accepted as a masterpiece. Of course, Straw Dogs was... Well, was it that, was it the video that was banned, or was the I don't know the film, because it did come out, because it got reviewed, badly reviewed, because of the violence. I think it was the DVD or whatever it was that was banned, but it was something was banned about it. What I'm trying to say is that nothing happened as a result of Straw Dogs. But a lot happened as a result of Clockwork Orange. And Kubrick is a genius and all that stuff. And that's just the way it was. So my comment was that, uh, well, you don't expect it. You didn't, you don't, when you're making the film, you don't say it's going to be banned or, or anything like that. No, I mean, uh, that's my reaction when they talk about the banning of Straw Dogs, how successful and how Clockwork Orange wasn't. But of course, Kubrick withdrew Clockwork Orange later on because of that. So that's really, if, I, if I've given you a reply, I hope that's yeah, adequate. Yeah. Um, there we go. Two minutes. Two minutes. Hi. Two minutes. Sorry. Um, one of my favourite films you were in uh, back in 1973 was From Beyond the Grave with Peter Cushing. 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you have any memories of doing that? Well, I mean, it was the beginning, really, of, of all that. Peter Cushing uh, played, uh, we only have, a, we'll tell you the plot, I won't, but it was one of those four stories in, in the thing with Peter Cushing. I only met him very briefly. We didn't talk long. I'm not sure, uh, uh, it was kind of quite frailish there. So it was a question of, you know, play my little scene, and he went off. So I really didn't, um, but it was, it was a, a, a it's a long time ago. It was. It was. Uh, there was a scene, though, very briefly, where, where there's a séance where we have to have a séance sitting around the table. And I did insist. I said, "What we do here with our hands on the table, we do not touch each other's hands. You're not going to film it, so because I, I was so superstitious about something happening. So we had a séance scene, but I insisted we, you know, we weren't actually doing the the real thing. That's all I can say about that. Uh, one final question. Um, uh, okay, and then we really do. Hello there. Could you tell me? Oh, sorry. Have there been any um, embarrassing incidents while you've been acting that you've had to keep on going and just ignore them? Oh, good. Now that's a hard one. No, I mean, yes, sir. Poor. I can't. Oh, embarrassing incidents that have happened during. I mean, lots of them. I can't. I don't have. I don't have a backlog of those kind of stories. I'm sure one would come to my mind, but I can't. I can't help you today on that one. <laughs> I'll try to think about. You know, some of, some of the performances I've given have been embarrassing, <laughs> but I can't think of a ho ho funny thing that's happened. You know, where Gregory Peck was upside down by accident. <laughs> I can, I'm sorry about. It. Yeah, you're upside down in the Star Trek says. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and this time you do make a massive round of applause for Jimmy Warner. Thanks, folks. Thank you.